In today's video, I'm going to be discussing phasing out Social Security and the potential future reality for SSA. That's the focus of the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. Now, first off, I just want to throw this out there really quickly. No, I'm not here to scare anybody. No, your Social Security checks are not ending. And yes, you will continue to get your ongoing monthly benefits just like every other month that you have been for several years. Nothing is changing with your Social Security checks. So please do not worry about it. However, However, I do want to talk about this idea that is floating around of phasing out Social Security over many years at some point in the very distant future. I do want to talk about that and I want to throw my opinions out there as well on this topic because I would not be shocked one bit to see something like this happen at some point, again, very, very distant out in the future but I want to bring it to your attention because this is something that is a idea that is out there that is being floated right now. So you probably want to know about it. Let me talk you through the details. However, really fast before we get into it, can I ask a huge, huge favor of you? Will you please make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right down below the video. It is totally free to do so 100% free. I'm here for you every single day, watching the headlines, doing all the research, advocating on your behalf, answering your questions and doing anything I possibly can to help you navigate this time. The last couple of years have been really rough, especially for the low income and fixed income. And we all know right now there's a million proposals out there to change Social Security, to fix the program, and a whole variety of other changes. A lot of things are out there right now. And again, I'm watching it all very closely and bringing it to your attention every single day in videos just like this. So again, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so, the big subscribe button. And feel free to share this video with the share button down below as well with your friends who are in social media. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate your support. We need to stick together right now. Rough time out there. And let's talk through the details. All right. So phasing out Social Security. How do you feel about that initially? You might think, oh, don't touch my benefits. Don't you dare touch my checks. I agree with you. <laughs> don't touch the checks, right? But here's the thing. As of right now, and again, I want to reiterate really quickly here, okay? Do not worry whatsoever about your checks. Nothing is happening with them. They're totally fine. Everything is in the clear right now. However, at some point, far, far out in the future, this program may actually get phased out. Now, again, I don't know for sure what's going to happen in many, many years from right now. However, I do want to bring this to your attention because it is something we've seen popping up here over the last couple of years. And as of recently, again, some people are talking about, um, you know, this program is um, financially very unstable. Again, I don't know if it's unstable. I don't know if I'd say that word, but it does have some major financial issues. We know this, right? With the whole insolvency issue and nobody apparently coming forward and taking credit for it or taking blame essentially and uh, doing anything about it. We know that this whole insolvency issue is a major problem and it's going to impact beneficiaries in a major way if nothing is done, right? But again, that's not many years out in the future. However, We've seen this from lawmakers as well, okay? And again, some other people also coming out recently suggesting, hey, we should really phase this program out. Now, here's the thing. If you're currently a beneficiary or going to be receiving benefits in the, say, next, I don't know, five, 10 years or so, you're fine. Nothing to happen here. No problem whatsoever, okay? However, let's look out a little bit further out into the future. Let's talk 20, 25, 30 years. Now, you might be thinking, seriously, who cares in 20, 25, 30 years? Okay, if that's what you think, then that's fine. It doesn't matter, okay? However, let's think about this for just a minute here. Could it be potentially uh, a thing that Social Security gets phased out at some point in the distant future? Again, 20, 25, 30 years. Again, I'm just kind of giving that window. Maybe it's 15, maybe it's 40, maybe it's 50, maybe it's 100 years. I don't know. I'm just throwing out some windows here, okay? I'm but here's the problem. We've known Social Security has been around for almost 90 years as I film this video right now in 2024, okay? The program's been around for almost 90 years. Okay, well, as a result of that, we know that just in this 90-year period of time, they've had some major, major, major financial issues. In fact, back in the 80s, uh, we had some major issues and they had to raise the potential full retirement age. Again, they raised it up by a couple years, right? So as a result of this, we know that, you know, over this course of time, 90 years, they full retirement age continues to raise. Why? Well, is it because that they just want to torture us? No, it's because of a few different reasons. Number one, the program <laughs> continuously has financial issues. They continue to run out of money or they're going to run out of money and the threat is real. So they raise the full retirement age and basically because uh, life expectancies are getting longer, we're living longer, which is awesome as well, right? So anyway, this is going to continue. This is the same financial, the same uh, song and dance year after year, time after time. 
And it's the same problem that's going to continue to persist. This this is a problem that is not just going to go away one day and just like, okay, the program's good for the next million years. No, that's not the case. We're going to continue to have these same financial issues for a very long time out in the future. Well, as a result, that's where we need to come together and figure out, okay, is it time to possibly replace this program with a new updated program that maybe has a little bit better financial structure in place to actually make sure that it serves the beneficiaries going forward versus the program that's currently out there now that I think we can all probably say does not totally serve the beneficiary, right? I mean, just look at your benefit check. Does your benefit check every single month serve you in a positive way? Again, don't get me wrong. We're very grateful for the checks that we receive. I totally get it. We're very, very grateful, but does it totally serve you or do you need to pinch pennies every single day, every single week and every single month just to get by to get to the next check? I mean, seriously, let's be real with ourselves for a minute, right? We all know the situation. But by the way, Social Security was only formed to replace 40% of your income. It was not made to replace 100% of your income, okay? So that's why so many people are struggling with this right now is that the program just, it, it basically replaces 40% of your income. It's very hard to go from 100% to 40%, right? You gotta make some major, major cuts um, to your lifestyle and spending and all kinds of things like this in order to make it work to live on Social Security strictly alone, right? But anyway, here's what we've heard some from, from some people recently and um, all the, uh, and some lawmakers over the last couple of years here. They've suggested maybe we should start thinking about a potential replacement of Social Security and phasing this program out in many years. Now, again, I want to emphasize in many, many, many years, 20, 25, 30 years at some point, finding a new program and starting to implement that program now to get that program into place so that in 20, 25, 30, 30 plus years, we have this program out there for younger generations. I don't even know if that would serve me, okay? Um, I'm in my late 30s, by the way, I know, right? <laughs> it, was, it just seems weird, okay? <laughs> but anyway, my point is uh, to serve younger generations so that they don't have to rely on Social Security because here's the thing, for younger generations, go walk down the street and just ask any person that looks like they're in their teens. I mean, don't be going out there talking to like, you know, little kids and stuff like that, but you get my point, right? Anybody that's like in their late teens, early 20s, you say, hey, yo, hey, hey 20 year old, do you think social security is gonna be around for you? And they're like, wait, what? What's social security? I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna be around for me. And they're probably right. It's probably not gonna be around for some 18, 19, 20, 22 year old. It's probably not gonna be there. To being totally real with you, it's probably not gonna have any money left. And if it does, they're gonna get little crumbs. There's not gonna be a whole lot left. So again, this is what they're potentially discussing is that we should find a replacement for Social Security. Let's start implementing it now or figuring out what is this replacement going to be again and start getting it in place. So then in 20, 25, 30, 30 plus years, this program is available to those younger generations who are now sitting there available or who are now sitting in their you know teens or late 20s or something like that so that this is potentially available to them at some point in the very distant future, okay? And again, the whole idea behind this is it's really not that all far-fetched because here's the thing, Social Security is going to continue to have financial issues no matter what they do, no matter how you cut it, there's always going to be financial issues. Well, I shouldn't say always. Always is a very strong word. Uh, there's going to be financial issues with Social Security unless they make very, very, very dramatic uh, changes to this program, which I highly doubt they're going to do. They're likely going to raise taxes a little bit. They're likely going to raise the full retirement age a little bit. And what's that called? It's called a Band-Aid. That's literally all it is. It's a Band-Aid to fix a problem that's only going to kick the can down the road for a couple years. And then in a couple decades from now, we're going to sit here with the same situation. Uh-oh, insolvency. Here we go. They're not having enough money coming in, too much money going out in the same situation we're currently dealing with right now. So as I mentioned earlier, my, my honest opinion on this, I expect something like this to actually happen. But again, anytime soon, is it happening tomorrow? Nope. Is it happening next week? No. Next month? Nope. Next year? No. In the next decade? I highly doubt it. In the next two to three decades? I would think probably, yeah, probably in the next two to three decades, okay? The next 20 to 30 years, I would say something like this would probably happen, okay? If they don't, they're they're walking down a path of um failure let's just say that much okay because this program it kind of ran its course and that's okay that's okay there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever okay if the 20 year old has to wait for another 10 years to retire 
I'm sorry, 20 year old, you're probably going to live until you're 95 anyway. So it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day, right? So again, just being real with my opinions on this. And again, who cares what my opinions are? That's just my thought based on what I'm seeing and the, tra the trajectory of this whole thing. That's just kind of how I foresee this thing playing out. Okay. Who knows? Maybe in 20, 30 years, something like that, we'll all see what happens here. It's a very long time, and I certainly do not want to wish that time away. So I'm just going to sit and just do the research. I'm going to continue watching everything. But at the end of the day, I also want to be aware of this because it's going to impact us, right? It's going to impact our kids, our grandkids, our great-grandkids, things like this. Yes, they will be impacted by this. So anyway, does that kind of make sense? So at the end of the day, again, I've said it a few times here so far in this video, I'm gonna say it again really quickly before I wrap this up, which is if you're currently a beneficiary or you're going to be receiving benefits at some point in the next, I don't know, three, five, 10, 15 years, you probably don't have anything to worry about, especially the next, you know, 10 or less years, you're fine. Don't worry about it, whatever, okay? Your benefits will still arrive. You've got nothing to worry about whatsoever. And I'm just saying that, okay? They've been paying out benefits for almost 90 years. There's no reason anything's happening anytime soon. But 20, 30 years like that, again, I don't know, but I do think that something will be changing in a major, major, major way when it comes down to these benefits. Make sense? Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Again, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to stick that down below. I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. Always have been, always will be. I just wanna help you out. I know it's a rough time. I know it's very confusing as well. So anyway, please enjoy your day. Watch the other videos here on the channel, including those I've hand-selected for you down below in the comments section or the description of the video. I've hand-selected some there. Otherwise, right here on your screen, check out those videos right, near, uh, right here popping up on your screen. You'll see some videos. Make sure to check out those videos. Otherwise, enjoy your day. Take care, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and I'll catch you again later in the next